I couldn't help but think as I reflected on this wonderful gospel story today of what I was reflecting on two weeks ago. If you may remember when we celebrated two weeks ago, there was the story of the young man who wanted to know what he needed to do for eternal life. Uh, And Jesus told him, and he went away sad. Uh, At that particular point in time, I said it's one of the saddest stories in all of the Gospels, with the exception of maybe Jesus' passion and death, because that man sort of had to turn away from Jesus. Today, big contrast. We have maybe one of the most joyous most life-giving, most energizing stories in the gospel. You know, here's Bartimaeus, a man who is struggling, obviously. He's lost one of his five senses. He can't see. He's probably sat on that road going out of Jericho for most of his life, begging, trying to make ends meet. But he's aware enough probably through his other senses. You know, they say if you lose one of your senses or a couple of your senses, the other ones become more sensitive in helping you to overcome. But however he does it, he becomes aware that Jesus is there. And even though there are negative voices in the crowd, people that want him to shut up and stay out of sight and leave us alone, he still keeps calling out. He he still has that desire to encounter Jesus. Uh, And because of that, because of his faith, uh, you know, I I often think that maybe he was sitting there recalling those words in the book of Jeremiah that we read in our first reading today, that faithfulness of God, that that God's not going to let us uh, stumble, that God's not going to let us give up, that God's always going to be there. And maybe those words were echoing in in, uh, Jeremiah or in uh, Bartimaeus' mind. And so he wasn't going to let go of this opportunity. Uh, You know, I I think this story says to us or or challenges us to, to pause and say, what is it we allow to get in the way of God's presence, of Jesus' presence, of the Holy Spirit's presence in our life? Uh, Do we approach our relationship with God with the joy and the enthusiasm of Bartimaeus? Hopefully we do. Uh, But we're reminded today that, that, that God is a God that's not going to give up on us. So let's not give up on God.